Hello everyone, welcome to uh, my cleric guide. Uh, I am Omega S, or known as Buff Cleric. Uh, this is my current rank and stats for Warlander. I'll be showing you today how to play cleric just the way as I do, but there is so many other ways you can play cleric other than the current builds that I have on. So first off, this is my deck. I have a no title character, a two star, and then three seraphims. Personally, this is a little bit greedy to run three seraphims in your deck. Uh, a lot of people would probably disagree, but um, I find it still a little bit greedy because uh, this character, your two star, is the main key for you to get points. So um, your whole goal in the game is to use your builder to get two stars off building really quickly. So you need five buildings, uh, two five full buildings. So basically, any buildings in the game that doesn't contribute oil pots so two ballistas and three cannons or like five ballistas it wouldn't matter and you can also add in a tower if you add in a tower then it's four buildings or three and a half and a tower depending how many people capture the tower with you uh, i'm going to show all the skills and builds on my characters uh if i would change anything about this deck to be a little bit easier for people i would remove one seraphim and probably add a three star or a four star and I'll show how to build it in the same way to be able to get your 5 star really quickly on in the game. So for my 0 star, it's basically a builder. So for talents, uh, level 4 building speed. You can use a level 5 if you have it, but I currently do not own that. Uh, you don't need build accuracy up, just increase the, the gray area that can, you can um, hit the, like the, the precision building. So it's not big of a deal if you're not if you're used to building. Uh, for secondary, I use the prototype, uh, proto roller cannon. So, to get this weapon, if you switch, like if I pick a soul crossbow, you click on it again, and you click default equipment, it resets it back to proto revolver. Uh, I have wall, uh, since it can help you rest people, you can just like wall a body in front of you and then rest someone if you're late with your building. So, if you, you're stuck using this character because you don't have your two star accelerator to get around quickly to building. And for weapons, uh, just a training happens, so it's the default weapon. Uh, a training shield, which is, I believe, also is the default. And I have heal 1. The reason I have heal 1 is um, it's a 15 second cooldown, and the most valor comes from your AoE heal. So the higher your AoE heal is, the more points you will get. But that doesn't necessarily, it's just you get a higher one, and then you end up getting a lot of points. You have to know when to place it and how to place it. So basically look where uh, a fight is going to happen. Like you have to protect your teammates movement, the enemy movement, and place your AoE heal on top of that, and then you'll get a lot of points. This, you can use it to pocket your friends or just nearby players. It's also really good, I'm going to show at the end of the video, a cool trick how to utilize the cooldown to the maximum. Uh, I have no equipment and Hymen of War. I use Hymen of War for armor. Uh, also, having a higher level does absolutely nothing except it increases and decreases the cooldown. Doesn't give you any more armor or anything. So that's for my Builder Cleric. Uh, my two star cleric, however, uh, we have blue gear. Uh, you can run basically anything in your gear. Uh, the best I would run, I personally don't have it right now because I don't have enough aura crystal. Uh, I would run 4 movement speed and 2 HP, so 4 of this gear would be movement speed, and the rest is HP, but right now I have Mage Killer, because uh, I like to use my secondary weapon on the crossbow. Uh, for the skills, I use a white battle hammer, because as a cleric I try not to use a lot of melee, I try not to get in a lot of melee fights. Uh, just a white shield, because it doesn't do a lot on level 2, because again, I'm not trying to be in fights. Uh, level 2 heal because it's um, a little bit good and at that stage of the game nobody has like a really high characters so they don't you don't need a lot of healing like single target healing AoE level 4 I personally use 5 if I have it I don't. and then resurrect 2 uh, which is not absolutely the best but it's better than 1 I definitely don't recommend using 1 because 120 second cooldown is way too long uh, I use level 2, but you can swap this for Holy Protection for yourself, or you can use Warp Gate if you want to make plays around the map. If you end up using Warp Gate, I would suggest you use full movement speed in your gear here. And obviously Accelerator, because it can get you out of hairy positions really quick. You can also add a talent here, like HP, to help up. 
Uh, the speed is a good talent, but it's just it wouldn't do much if you don't have full speed gear. As you see, it does like zero point something, so it doesn't help a lot. Uh, this is how a typical surf. All my surfers look the same, so I run all purple gear, uh, four movement, two HP. I'm using the default weapon on my Seraphim, the shield you can't change it because it's legendary shield. Your heals I have heal 4, AoE 4, I'm using a blue hunting crossbow, uh, a yellow resurrect level 4, and accelerated river 4, and HP talent. So the main key here is your AoE heal for points, uh, single target heals to keep your friends up, if you especially if you have warriors in your team, you need to be looking out for them, call out your heals. Uh, resurrect level 4 because the cooldown is 34. I wouldn't recommend using level 5. Uh, I heard the cooldown is uh, 30 seconds for another extra 20 CP, which is not really worth it, in my opinion. Uh, Accelerator 4, you can probably run 5 if you want to. Accelerator is really good because it helps you get out of your positions a lot. Uh, but this is my build. Um, if you would like to use only two Seraphims, I would change this guy into uh, level 4, or even level 3, but I'll show level 4. You can either use any titles of this. If you use Apostle, uh, Apostle I think that's how you say it, uh, full movement will be great, and have extra 40 CP, which we can remove here easily. So I would roll my Resurrect from 4 to 3, and then it would be the same build. Nothing would change. Uh, always level, this is always one for barrage, uh, it also doesn't do much, just the cooldown. So basically all your ultimates here, it's just cooldown, has no affection to the level, so you usually try to use the lower level to get more CP. Uh, but this is how I would play my Seraphims, or my Cleric. Uh, and now off to the practice range to show a little bit of tricks for... Um, Clerics. So, most people when they're healing, uh, they would just spam their Q off cooldown like this. Right, and uh, that will put you in a spot where your teammates won't have enough healing. Right, because you just use all your healings without noticing their health. Obviously, because the heal is too high, it just full, heals into full. But what I want to show is look at the charges down. We're gonna heal this guy, and then if you count 15 seconds from now, my charges are gonna go back up to three. So just keep waiting. And you see it went back up and then I used it again. So this means that as soon as you use your first heal, your cooldown starts off already. So what you want to do is you want to heal people to the maximum efficiency. So basically you're trying to heal them when they take a lot of damage considering your heal level and try to optimize your heal to the maximum point where you can actually heal them not not just three times, but up to six times in a row. Because it's a 15 second cooldown, so if you heal once every five seconds, and your teammate is able to take damage for 5 seconds, you can keep healing them throughout the fight with having no problems. Also, something like this, your AoE is really big, right? So you try to utilize it where you can have the most people. So you see, if I put it like this, I have 2 people. If I put it right here, it's only 2 people, but if I move it a little bit like this, I have 3 people, which is the knight on the left, the wizard in the middle, and the cleric. So healing all 3 people at the same time. Also, when you pop your ultimate, uh, on Seraphim, you cannot cast abilities, but you can cast abilities before using your ultimate. So what you want to do is, I'm going to rest this guy, I'm going to heal this one, right? and I'm going to pop my AoE, I'm going to pop my speed boost, and then ult. You see my AoE doesn't get removed, I already used my rest, I already used everything, and then I'm, I have my speed boost so I can move a lot faster with my ultimate, that way I can't get caught by enemies uh, too easily. There's just like small tricks that you can use on clerics to help you out. Uh, I'll try to upload pods of me playing, uh, like full battles of me playing cleric, and I hope this helps. Thank you guys for watching.